Greetings, dear ladies. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. And my partner steps away. You are the sisterhood. The very definition is changing as the maturity of what you do and why you do it starts to change. If you take a look at this, all of it, from its beginnings a few years ago to now, it's grown up. Has to start slow, had to start to be identified, the history being given through weeks and weeks and weeks to come to a place where now it starts to morph. You start doing things more like you did in Lemuria. And so let's examine that one more time. Some of the things I tell you are, are controversial because they fly in the face, you might say, of the culture today. In review, right before we talk about Lemuria, for those listening who are not here, Melly Haw gave a review. I give it again. In the last channel, I described this, that there was no brotherhood in Lemuria ever. It wasn't really even called a sisterhood. You didn't have a meeting that you reported to called a sisterhood. Instead, there was a relationship with the women. The women knew why they were there, the sacredness, the sacred circles, the time of birth, all of these things combined with other things they did was the sisterhood. We even told you there were times where you'd indeed honored the men. We also told you there were the times when the men honored you. All of that is part of the sisterhood. Now let's go to Lemuria for a moment and look at this. I'm going to review. The man never wanted to do what you did. And we told you that it was, it was almost as strange as the men wanting equality and giving birth. They would never ever ask for such a thing. Each gender understood what they were best at. And that's what they did. There was no longing at all looking at the other gender saying, wow, when is our chance? For you were so pleased and happy with the shamanic sacredness that you brought to everyone. Now there's something perhaps we haven't discussed. When you get together as women, not everything you did was sacred. Not everything you did was teaching. You would help one another. You would counsel each other. You would counsel each other because of what the men did and did not do in a normal relationship that you had with the men. One of the issues, I'll just tell you, one of the issues is the men wanted something. Now this didn't last that long, but generation after generation would always come up. They would say, is it possible that I could be there to see the birth of my child? Now today, they are welcome and invited. They were not in Lemuria because that was women's business. I've told you this before, underwater births surrounded by women singing. That's what it was. The child comes out in that. The child hears the mother energy, feels the mother energy, knows the friends around them, feels the warmth of the water. All of these things, absolutely the way, the tradition, and it remained that way. But you had to do some counseling with the men to let them know why. There were times when you would have to be counseling other women because of what the men wanted. But it was never to be a woman. So what I'm saying is there was normalcy, even in relationships in counseling between the men and the women. The sisterhood stood apart. Now, with that being said, with the review then being covered that there was no brotherhood, they didn't want to be a brotherhood. I did tell you again that there were times of honor. Last week I invited you to change something. 
instead of the idea of, of creating brotherhoods and equality, that you would bring them in for a little while. Melly Haw heard that, and that's what you're doing the first time this evening. Melly Haw has presented a, a plan, a way of honoring, a quietness so they can feel what it is. I want to give you some insights. The men are here because they want to be. Every single man who comes in, like you, has been another gender. All of the men who are coming into this have at some level enjoyed a sisterhood. Have you thought of that? You're not actually separating genders here. You're honoring the system. It's an honor of their willingness to understand you. Their willingness to say, it's beginning to occur to us that the women really should be the ones that carry the sacred torch. Who better? It's an honoring of you back, saying to them, thank you for the honor. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for being our partners in life. First time. It does not fly in the face of any tradition of any sisterhood. You did it in Lemuria. It's beautiful. The sisterhood begins to grow up. The sisterhood begins to have the maturity of things they did in the past and carry them over to things that they would do now that are culturally appropriate with understanding. This ceremony will also grow. There's come a time perhaps when you would say something to them in all appropriateness. Let me give you a hint. In all that you do, never ask them to say anything. <laughs> they want you to do the talking. They expect it. And they're uncomfortable when you change that arrangement. You can do all of your honoring, if you wish, out loud or quietness. And they will sit and accept it. Let the energy that you create change their hearts. May they leave this place, even in the few moments they would be in, saying, that felt good. I liked that. Maybe it would, it would start a new kind of sacred relationship between men and women, where you face off in honor and thanks. Let the ceremony begin. And so it is.